Hello all and welcome back to Silver Lining Crypto where we make some money off of crypto and we talk about these uncharted territories that we have been swimming in with these whales and all these sea creatures. Anyway, I'm back in the car again. Um, I know you guys are jealous because of the Bitcoin I had on my wall in my office. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about the past couple of days. You know, um, I don't know if it, if it was that dead cat bounce, you know, the past couple of days. Um, again, my opinion. And again, you know, it's just my opinion. <laughs> and you know what opinions are, are like. Um, I would, uh, well, this is what I did is I, you know, once everything started kind of plummeting a couple of days ago and once the grayscale funds opened up, um, you know, that's kind of when I had moved some of my coins over to stable coins. Um, I, I didn't take anything out. Um, I, I'm well, except for some profit. I'm sorry. I, I did take some out on some profit. Um, but I moved a lot to stable coins and then, uh, yesterday was unbelievable. Um, I saw something, um, I honestly didn't think it was going to play out due to all the manipulation and all the patterns I thought I found when in fact, no, you know, it's not a fact, but you know, I want, I, I think things are really turning around for the better. I don't know if you watched, uh, that informa uh, that I'm sorry, debate, which it really wasn't a debate, but that talk between Kathy Woods, Jack Dorsey and, um, uh, Elon Musk, uh, I think that call went very well. I mean, you have three of the smartest, most wealthiest people on earth, um, you know, talking about our future and how this is possible and how great blockchain technology is. Um, and, you know, it's the future. So if you've been holding, if you've been dollar cost averaging, which um, if you have been dollar cost averaging, I mean, the past couple of days were great days for pickups. Um, I believe, you know, we're above the 32,000 point, uh, and it seems like we're staying steady. You know, that's a great resistance that we got to get, you know, steady. Uh, you know, once we're steady at 32, let's shoot for 34, 36, you know, um, and then let's get up to 40. Let's get Ethereum back up to 4,000. Uh, but, um, you know, again, I'm not an advisor, uh, I'm not here to tell you what to do with your money. That's your money. Uh, I'm just letting you know stuff that I've learned and just share with the whole crypto community. But uh, if you've been holding and if you've been dollar cost averaging, I know we're nowhere near our highs yet for this cycle, but this is just a gut feeling those highs are going to be coming back sooner than you expect. I can't believe yesterday uh, with uh, Matic. That was nuts. Uh, and I've held Matic for a very, very long time. And for it to go up something like 30, 35% yesterday alone. Um, and it, I believe it's still up a couple of points. Um, you know, that's phenomenal. So we just have to wait for the next 24 to 48 hours. Hopefully everything smooths out, so to speak. Um, and we could officially say we're in a bull run, you know, um, which I do believe we are. Anyway, I hope all is well. I hope everyone stays green. And until next time.